How's it going guys? Silly here with another loot guide video and if you do not know how to loot woods you are certainly missing out. There is so much loot on woods that you can easily and I mean easily get over a million per run just looking for items that no one even looks for. Now of course I'll link a couple screenshots here but don't worry this video will help you find all of those rare loot spawns and honestly if you're hurting for money, this map is a great place to earn it. Let's get into it. So on woods, you can either get the western side spawns closer to outskirts, or you can get the eastern side spawns, which is on the UN roadblock side. Depending on which spawn you get, all you have to do is simply run the route from there and you should be good to go. So the first thing we're gonna do is we got the eastern UN roadblock spawn. So the first place we're gonna head to is the abandoned village or the small little town just east of the abandoned village. Okay, and as you're making your way over to the village, I like to stop by this little area and loot these two buildings. This first wooden building is going to be full of some tech items. And here you can get some tech items anywhere on these uh, shelves here. You can get, there's a nice little weapon crate there. I always like to loot that, a toolbox, as well as there might be some items scattered throughout the ground. So feel free to jump into this little shack and get some tech items, as well as this next wooden building here which has some ration spawns as you can see we can loot this and i'm gonna pick up stuff as we go just to give you guys an example in an offline raid i have a marker just because i was doing a quest and i didn't take it out of my backpack but just to give you guys an idea of what to look for so there's another weapon crate over there we have another supply box this way. This is a ration supply box. These are one of my favorite things to loot because of the amount of sugars and aliancas and coffee beans you can get. Make sure you always pick those up because aliancas right now are going for upwards of 40 to 50k and sugars is the gold mine of this run because you're going to run into so many ration spawns but sugars right now are about 80, 90 to 100k value. And there's so many sugar spawns that we're going to cover today. It's easy money, easy money. So anyway, we're going to loot the ration box. We always check these wooden or the black weapons boxes. And now we're just going to head out towards the town and pick up the guide from there. As we get to the town, another slept on area, pretty much this whole woods map is slept on. But we're gonna loot these two buildings on the left hand side of the street when you're looking towards the big mountain. So the first building we're gonna go in here, we're gonna run in, we're gonna open up this door. Now again, look on all these tables, there's a sugar right there. Look at all these tables for these ration spawns. Ammos can spawn up here. And we'll look at all these counters. Sometimes things are hard to find. Herring is also a good one because it's used for the thermodynamic food bag. So they sell for a bit. You have a lot of these sports bags here as well. I'll loot this one because it's you can always find some good stuff in there. But maybe for the purposes of this guide, I won't loot every bag. But I do check a lot of these duffels that I see. So we're gonna look on all the tables for those ration spawns. Next thing we're gonna wanna do is go upstairs. So that's one sugar right there. We've already made almost 100K off that. What you wanna do is when you come upstairs, you wanna look under these beds. Behind these, uh, in the ground here and behind these sheets can sp have all your valuable spawns like your rollers, bitcoins, gold chains, skull rings, stuff like that. They all appear under the bed and as well as this one here, as you can see, there's a horse there this time. If we go prone here and we find the horse, eventually we will. Um, sometimes it can take a while. 
but you get the drift. I'm not gonna spend any longer trying to grab that horse, but in a normal raid, it probably would. And then we can get some ammos on this bed here. So that is it for this building. Now we can run back out. There is a weapon crate back here. Feel free to loot this. And another toolbox down here. I'm not sure there's anything in here, to be honest. No. So there's a toolbox there and another weapon crate right there. Okay, so let's go ahead and hop over. Now we're going to loot the second building on the left because this is also full of really fun things to loot. We have a grenade case here. Uh, we have a few spawns here. I feel like this, th these spawns are kind of random. Sometimes I see rations, sometimes I see technical items. So might as well just take a look just to see what's over here. But we have a grenade case there. Uh, you loot for grenades and then a bunch of hardware spawns spawn on these next few services like nut bolts, poxy arm. As you can see, we have some tubes here. So make sure you check all these surfaces here for nuts, bolts, things like that. Because again, nuts, bolts, they sell for a lot of money. Way more than you'd think. So always pick them up because they're not bad. I believe bolts are on 40K at the moment. So we're gonna walk in here. There's a moonshine spawn. So uh, <laughs> there's that. <laughs> to be honest, I didn't know moonshine spawn in there until right now. Uh, but I do always check this room because there are some very good ration spawns. So now we know moonshine right here as well as another ration spawn over here. A bunch more hardware items can spawn anywhere in this area. And we have another toolbox here. That's a big win on the moonshine right there. Nails again, nails, another very expensive hardware item. Another ration spawn on the floor. Again, looking at all these surfaces, looking at all of these surfaces. Now this used to be a shortcut jump over the fence, but I don't think you can do it anymore after the latest nerf, yeah latest jump nerf i just wanted to test that out mid video you know but after we've done learning the outside we're actually going to go inside the house and we're going to loot this house very similarly to the last one we're going to check all these surfaces all the tables for those ration spawns because we want those sugars because they are extremely valuable you want to open this door here to your right we have an intelligence spawn on the desk here more rations on the bed as we have hot rods here which is good for the bs ammo trade and we have another duffel here let's see what we get i like spinning that i call they're, they're definitely roulettes every every duffel so i again i search every duffel i'm not going to for the purposes of this video because there's so many but it's another hot rod spawn again another grenade case which is good and i always try to loot this book thinking it's a manual it's just a book but anyways that is it for the village these are mostly what i loot here next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to run out there is the car spawn now the car didn't spawn this time because oh the car is there sorry the car spawn i mean the car extract the car extract is right there so maybe you get some good stuff maybe you get that moonshine that you want find in a raid because you want to sell it right from that shed there you can go pay the car and get on with your next raid and extract successfully. So uh, it's always a nice spot if you get some really good loot from the village. But the next thing we're going to want to do is turn left. We're going to follow this river, keeping our water line on the right. And we're going to make your way all the way down to the abandoned village next to the cultist circle. Okay, so now we're finally getting into the village itself. The first place I'm going to want to check is these buildings on the right, just behind this wall here. I will say if you're doing this at nighttime with night vision, I would highly recommend you have night vision, especially if you're coming to this area of the map. So on this hill is where you'll find your cultists. So when you're coming in here to loot, the cultists like to sit up on this hill here behind this building and they don't like to shoot at you until you either aggro them or you get close enough. I would say you're probably putting yourself in danger anywhere on the left side of this road here. That's when the cultists will start taking attention towards you. So 
always watch the cultists that can be anywhere back here when you're coming to this area at nighttime. But it's also a good place to farm the cultists if you know how to do it. But anyways, let's get back to this loot run. As soon as we come around this wall here, we have some ammo spawns here. You can get BTBS rounds of 545, which is pretty good. Then I run this way. Same thing here, BTBS rounds. Just good rounds in general. Ammo spawn right here. I always like to run around the left side of the houses because the doors are always closer to the road here. So the first thing we want to do is come into our first building we're up against. What you want to check is on these tables here, we got some ammo spawns. You have some ration spawns here as well as some rare item spawns. Always grab those condensed milks because they sell for 15k to therapist. You want to check anywhere on these beds, a bunch of things can spawn here. You have an intel spawn on this table. Again, check under the beds, make sure nothing spawns under the beds. You can get some very valuables here and we're done with this room. Next thing we're going to want to do is check this small shack. We're going to run around the right side of it because that's where the door is. Now you can get a moonshine on this bed. This is also another moonshine spawn. This time we got Agmentin, but moonshine spawn can spawn right here. So always check that. This map is full of moonshine and it's really fantastic. As well as some rare valuables can spawn in this doorway. Now we're going to hang to the left. Again, this is in the cultist area. So if cultists are up, you will be getting targeted by them if you run over here at nighttime and they spawned in. So make sure you always look at them with night vision before you come here. It's pretty safe as long as you stay back there to look in. Usually they'll look at you, but they won't shoot at you in my experience until you aggro them or you get close enough. But anyway, we're going to run into this building here. We have a... Ooh, okay. We have a few spawns scattered throughout the ground. You can get some more ration spawns. Always good to check because you always want those sugars. We have a duffel bag here. And we have some very valuables as well in this tent. As you can see, we have a gold chain there and another horse. So this is also full of a bunch of valuables. Also, you, you definitely don't want to miss out on this part. This abandoned town is so loot rich. Like it's insane how many people sleep on this. Next thing we're going to want to do, I'm going to have to run around here, is we're going to want to run around. Actually, we might as well check this little shack on our left first. Now we have no more valuable spawns. Valuable spawns can spawn in this bush here in front of the cache. And then we have a cache right here. Always check these ground caches. They can be full of so much loot. They can have, you know, your expensive armbands. They could have your valuable spawns like your bitcoins gold chains rollers and they could have things like graphics cards for your bitcoin farm or if you just want to sell it because you rather have the money your choice so we're going to check that cash here more valuable spawn in this door lions bitcoins rollers that sort of thing in that doorway then we're going to run up the rock we're going to run across this boat more valuable spawns in the boat bitcoins gold chains as you can see I'm not exaggerating. This is so full of rare, valuable spawns. It's crazy. We're going to go up the church here into this little room. And we have three or four. They have a rare spawn here. Oh, as you can see. So a Bitcoin or something like that, because this is a rare loot spawn, could have fallen through the box. It happens sometimes. Anyway, we have three more valuable spawns. One time I walked in here and got three Bitcoins on the ground just in the church. So always check the church. Next thing we want to do is run down, jump to the right of that pole, because if you jump this way, it's just an invisible wall. So the right of that little stick, and we're going to run up. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to run straight, and we're going to look for the cultist circle. A good tip on finding that is lining yourself up with the church. Sorry, I'm going to go around this fence here. Lining yourself up with the church behind the fence next to these trees here. And if you follow the fence line up here, you can see the cultist circle. Oh yeah, I have to come here and plant the, <laughs> might as well plant this just for the sake of it. I have to do this quest, so I brought that marker with me. But again, valuable spawns around the, the cultist circle, gold chains, Bitcoin, etc. can spawn there. 
Next thing we're gonna want to do is run around the front of the building. We're gonna look in here. So in these bushes right here, right in here, right in here, all valuable spawns. Once again, lions, gold chains, bitcoins. And finally, the last building in the abandoned village, we're gonna run around the left side, go through the front door, and we have more valuable spawns, lions, coins, bit chains, bit chains, bitcoins, bit, what am I saying? You get the idea. Right there, more valuable spawns in here, more valuable spawns in the box. Kind of like Lighthouse, you have to look and walk in the box just to make sure and look for that loot dot because things can spawn or clip into the bottom of the box, so it's gonna be hard to see. As well as on the bed, always look on the bed. Always look on these barrels for more Bitcoin spawns. And we have ammos and some streamer items can spawn on top of these boxes. And then we're finally finished with the abandoned village. Next thing we're gonna to wanna to do is run to the radio tower scav area, which is just up here. Okay, so once we're in this like shipping crate area, we want to first come up and I always loot this little white shack with the logs because what we have is a green weapons box. We have more ration spawns on this bed. Again, more valuable item spawns, bitcoins, gold chains can spawn underneath this little mattress. So make sure you look out for that. And then we also have a grenades box. After we loot the white shack, you can loot that green weapons crate if you want, right there. And then I come into here, into these other white shacks for more ration spawns. Now, moonshine can spawn here as well. Moonshine, sugar, alianka, chocolate bars is what you want to be looking for. They can spawn up here. We have the, the, there's possible rare spawns on the bed here. So again, get that loot indicator all along this mattress. Then you want to run up the stairs again more moonshine sugar spawns up here always look for those we have a duffel here and a rare item spawn on the sack rare item spawns like your bitcoins can spawn inside the sack so make sure you stick your face in it just to look for that loot dot as well as more rare item spawns on the bed and that desk right there now in this little minivan, you can get fuel tanks, you can get fuel conditioners, so always check for that. And then you also have a ration supply crate here. Again, more opportunities for those purple 40 seconds as well as are good. Most of the purple foods are good, so I recommend picking them up. Again, another sugar, another 100K made right there. 200K in sugar, that's another 300K in moonshine right there. This is already 500K and we haven't even finished the run yet. We're about maybe halfway through. So after we're done that, we run this way closer to the big radar tower. Another place you can check is down there by the convoy. Cause I ain't, I ain't a bitch. I'm gonna show you all the loot. We run down the street here around this body next to the car. We can find a lot of the mare rare medical spawns around this body right here. We have this truck, we have a spawn right here. All these med spawns are on this body. You can get a lot of syringes for your samples quests right here. So make sure you always check this body out. As well, we have a technical supply crate, I believe it is. Yep, technical supply crate right here. Again, you wanna be looking for these bolts, these nuts. These UV lamps are 9K a piece uh, just to the traders. So if you want, you can sell them to traders and ditch them as you find more stuff. You also have a stash right here. I like to look, it's right next to this boat here. I also like to look for this little trifecta of trees right here and you have a stash right here. So we'll crouch down and loot the stash. Hopefully we get things like graphics cards. Metal parts are also pretty good too, especially earlier on in a wipe. If it's a new wipe, these metal parts will go for a crap ton because you need a bunch for the hideout. So anyways, we'll go back up the street from which we came and we'll loot that scav bunker area. All right, so now we're in the scav bunker area. What you wanna do is you have the bunker right there. You just wanna walk on in. We have some 
ammo spawns on these green crates. We want to walk in here. We have a duffel bag right there. So you can check a toolbox right there. A bunch of technical spawns can spawn on these racks. On in, in these racks here or on the floor in front, on the floor in front as well as here. Here we have a bunch of ration spawns. Again, you're looking for your sugars, aliancas. Even these aquamarids are pretty good because they're good for the M2 or M1 tier four armor, uh, tier four armor barter, as well as a bunch of very high valuable hardware spawns here. So things like your ratchets or that red wrench with the purple background, I forget what that's called right now, but they can all spawn in here and those are 80K a piece. So always check here, I got a bunch from here, 80K a piece, no problem. Then you want to walk into this next room. You want to check the bed because the bed could have all your rare spawns, bitcoins and stuff can fall through the bed. So always check get that loot indicator in there. Again, on this table, right where this rooster is, as you can see, so we're gonna have to start <laughs> moving stuff to make room for this rooster right here. Uh, rare valuable spawns could be here. If you get like a Bitcoin or a skull ring, it can spawn in the cloth. So again, get that loot indicator up on this table. We have a duffel bag right here. I'm sorry if it's hard to see because it's a little dark. Then we have again more Bitcoin, gold chain, lion spawns right here where this chain lid is underneath this green mattress. We have a jacket. It's always fun to check jackets because you can get some pretty good keys in here. Might as well check it. Metal parts this time, still not even bad. Again, another sugar spawn, another basically 100K we just made just from sugar. So once you're done this and look through all those areas, we run out of the bunker. We're gonna run in the direction of the stairs or in the opposite direction of which the stairs are going up to continue our run, I should say. Now there is a cache right here. If you just run to the right, so as you see, there's the tower there. We just ran a little bit to the right. There is a cache right here. I'll always check, which is right next to the, right next to a small tree with a bush right here. I'll always check this so I can see there's rocks right there, right? And beyond that is the big radio antenna. And there's a cache right here. We won't go loot this cache because we loot every cache just to see what we get. Nuts, still pretty good. Masks are pretty good for the attack tech armor trade. So I'm going to check those or I'm going to keep those. And we will head up straight across to this next hill, across this little ravine here, just to give you an idea of where we are so we know some landmarks we pass by. We cross this river. And right next to this rock is another cache. So we're going to loot this. There we go. Unfortunately, nothing great that time, but that's okay. And then we're going to want to continue the way we were going to the USEC camp. Okay, so now that we're at the USEC camp, the first place I want to check is this medical table is where you can get medical spawns like, for example, these the serve kits. You can get all of these different IFACs, AFACs. You can get ophthalmoscopes and stuff like that, or golden stars, anything like that, as well as some ration spawns. Another sugar just over there. Then we come over just to the left of that. Now we have an abundance, an abundance, man. We're, we're, we're so full of loot right now that we don't even have enough space to finish the loot run. You want to be looking for things like scopes and suppressors. Another weapon box right here. We have a, I think this is a technical supply crate. Yeah, another technical supply crate right here. So now we're going to be start, you know, dropping stuff for to, to, to make room. This is the red wrench I was talking about before you can find in the bunker. So I'm glad we kind of found that. Drop the horse for it after we check that stuff. As you can see, <laughs> we have fuel spawns on these blue crates next to the supply crate we just looted again. Holy crap, just to see how much we can make in one run. It is insanity. Then we come into this tent. We have a rare spawn right here next to this little, I don't know what you can call this metal container. So things like fuel can spawn here or fuel conditioners. We have more ration spawns on these tables. And I believe this is another ration supply crate. Yep. So we can loot things like again, we want to be looking for those sugars, those condensed milks. Another sugar coming in. 
We're gonna take the condensed milks. Then we run around to the right of the USEC camp and we have more weapon attachments on this table. Again, you wanna be looking for the suppressors, scopes, stuff like that. So maybe we drop like the nuts. We take that uh, accumulator, assault accumulator. And then we are going to run across because we looted basically everything good from the southern USEC camp. We're gonna run across this. Now, keep in mind, you don't want to go too much to the right here because there's mines. So I always run across the sand because I know the sand is safe. And then to get to this rock and run to the right. And we have another weapon box there. We have rare spawns that can spawn in the crack behind these two wooden planks. And then all back here can spawn your rare spawns like bitcoins, roosters, lions, stuff like that. A tip to get stuff under under there because it's actually kind of hard you can't really prone that well down here you can't like look down because you're prone use your free look with middle mouse to grab to grab the items that are down there i'll make it a lot easier so you want to check that spawn there is an m4 spawn on top of this rock but honestly i don't climb it because it takes forever to do that so i personally don't there's a bunch of weapon spawns or weapon attachment spawns again look for these suppressors these scopes up here another weapon box that way a armor can spawn here a trooper armor can spawn in, in this quarter uh, more ration spawns on this table more ration spawn on this table and uh, another thing the ration spawns are good for is if you're looking for these cigarettes these smoking pads for the mechanic quest you can find them wherever you find these ration spawns there is a decked out m4 spawn Oh, well, there it is right there. <laughs> there it is right there in that truck. Another weapon crate this way. Sorry, I'm running out of time because there's just so much loot. There is more ration and med spawns on this wood here, as well as another, is this, a, this is a medical supply crate here. So we can go ahead and loot through this. You wanna be looking for all your, your fun little meds there you may need. Uh, another weapon box this way and more roller Bitcoin spawns. A few of them all behind this bed here, so we'll drop the herring at this point. We literally have so much loot, we can't even hold it. I always run this with the biggest backpack I possibly can. The kit I'm wearing is for a quest, so it's not necessarily the strongest. But after we're done looting everything here, we run down this hill. Again, I have blown up to some mines because there's mines on this right side, so stay away from this rock I always run down next to this big yellow tree. So run down this way. And then once you're down off the sand, you can move over to the right because there's a stash here I'm going to loot. What you want to do is you want to run to the right. Watch for these mining signs. What you're going to want to do is look for this lonely abandoned tree next to the mine sign. And then if you just take a quick left from that and look, you will find a stash right here. So we can go ahead and loot that stash. For all those fun stash items on Wreck Bat, I'm not even gonna pick stuff up anymore, it's not worth it. But after that, we run to the right. We're gonna continue our way out. There's the camp there. We're gonna run our way out to the western side of the map, following these power lines, because we're basically headed to the extract now, especially with all, all we have. And one last stash is by the big power tower <laughs> i don't know why i called it a power tower for some reason i just can't remember words right now and so typically it tends to happen to me when i'm recording so we have a syringe here a hand drill if you need that for the hideout we're gonna follow these power lines and the road all the way down basically to the outskirts extract there is another stash that sometimes i go to sometimes i don't depending on how hot the area is or how much loot i have on me because this next stash is kind of in the middle of nowhere and if you get yourself caught here you really have no cover to be honest but there's one final stash we are going to run up this hill for be careful of mines, you don't want to go too far down that way because you will explode. As you can see, there's mines towers right there. So you want to stop right after this big green bush before the wheat fields. There is the stash right here. 
So I'll quickly with the time I have left show you where the outskirts extract is from here because we're very close and then I'll jump back in to show some other fun wood spawns that you can check if you have to be going to the sawmill because there's some you don't want to miss over there as well. So don't go too much to the right here because that's scav sniper. You want to keep left of these of this road of this tower of this sign. As you can see, we're starting to get back into the OG woods map. We have the some of these sniper rocks. We have some of these stone fences. And what we're really doing is we're coming up just north of the scav house. So we're going to want to follow this fence down this way. There's some rocks. This is where the ZB014 bunker is as well. So as you can see, the bunker's up. And if the bunker's up, well, I would just take the bunker extract. It requires the ZB014 key. You can go in. I'll open this just for the sake of this video because there is some nice little med spawns as well. If you still have room somehow, there's some beautiful med spawns all along here. You can get your slave with. You can also find 60 rounders right here for that quest, for proper quest, so it's not bad. And then you can take that extract out. And if you don't know where outskirts is from here, as you can see, there's a car. There's the car in front of Scav House. You want to keep running this way towards that black car. And then you can see Scav House is just there. And your outskirts extract is right down that road there as you see that car in the distance. So we just spawned in on the Scav House side. So if you were doing that loot run, all you would do is follow the left hand side out and you would run up the path along the power lines and you would start the loot run from the USAC campsite. But I'm quickly going to show you the other spots I like to check if I'm questing or doing something else on woods that is definitely worth noting. So you can see the scav house is right here just for reference. And I'm gonna run in the direction of the suppressor shack on the way to the sawmill. So now we're at the suppressor shack. And the reason why I call it that is because you can get the best suppressors in the game, including the waffle suppressor and stuff like that in this little shack. Let's take a look around the waters that way. If you just wanna walk in on the shack, and check this table as you can see here we got this suppressor this suppressor you can get things like scopes here some good ration spawns as well as you see we have a hot rod for that bs ammo trade and some vodka definitely worth noting this spot as well as more on here the coke is for again the the holodilnik bag now we want to run over to the sawmill there are some stashes here but i don't typically check them whenever i come to sawmill i'm more focused on my questing and stuff like that so you want to run closer to the sawmill. Again, you got to be careful of Sturman. He can be in the sawmill. He can spawn in this forest here, or he can spawn in numerous places like in this shack and under this roof, under that roof, in, the, in front of that white building. Just before I actually get into the sawmill, I do want to point out one more spawn, which I didn't pass going to the suppressor shack. I should check this first, is there is a purple key card spawn. There's three of them on woods. I'm currently doing a challenge trying to find every key card in raid, so I'm always checking the spot. In this car here, the military checkpoint on the way to the sawmill, there is a purple key card spawn right here on the chair by the driver's seat. The first place we're gonna want to check is inside the white building. I love this building, by the way. You can get some very good med spawns, syringes, and even tech spawns. As you can see, we have a hand drill here. We have an ibuprofen, a morphine. You can also get things like key tools. You can get things like the, we have, again, we have a golden star right here. Again, amazing med spawns. You can get key tools on the wooden shelf here. Key tools, you can find things like compasses if you're early in the game and don't have a compass yet and you don't want to buy one or you haven't done the quest line. We have two weapon crates here. So always check these shelves along the backside of this white gray building. We have another purple key card spawn right here in the trunk of this SUV next to the open weapon box. We have on the most leftern 
shack. The one closest to the wood palace here, there's another moonshine spawn, a rare ration spawn in here on this table, close to these beds. We have some, a few jackets in there, but I don't check technically, I don't usually check those. English. Sherman can also spawn in these, so that's quite an interesting spawn if you get it. And we're finally going to check the last little white building here. So right where this Ratnik is, another Moonshine can spawn here, and right here, another purple key card spawn. For some reason, I also have a massive amount of luck when looting these jackets specifically. So I'm going to go give them a quick look just to see if we get anything crazy. Don't 104, nothing crazy. Let's see what we get. A battery, also not great. And nothing in there. So nothing great that time. But just yesterday, I got an ultra medical key and a marked room key from those jackets. But I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just me and my luck, but I have good vibes whenever I go into that white shack. And uh, just south of the white shack, well, actually, I should really say east of it, is the Emercom Medical Facility. Because there are so many good med spawns, so many good medical quest items you can get from this shack. It was a part of my therapist guide to finding all the find and raid quest items. Oop around the, the wrong way here we can check the this we have a medical what, which one is this yeah so we have a ration supply crate here again you're looking for your sugars we have a bunch of med spawns on these shelves you can get your scopes or, or any of the syringes you need for samples in there we have another medical supply crate as well right there we have a med bag we have a duffel there Med spawns can spawn anywhere on the table as well, obviously in the med bag on these tables. Check these shelves as you go. Check these shelves. We have two augmentins there. Check these shelves. These shelves here. In these cabinets. Along there. Then we want to run around. We even have more. Which, which supply grade is this? We have a technical supply crate here. We have spawns on this shelf. I think you might be able to get an ophthalmoscope on here as well, I believe. So always check that. Then we have a weapon crate there. I don't think anything spawns in this. I've never found anything in here. Maybe I just got unlucky. I'm not sure. We have ration spawns and they'll be everywhere. As you see, we have D fuel as well. We have a bunch of ration spawns on these crates. Another rare medical spawn here. You can get your ophthalmoscopes. As this time we have a golden star and a IFAC. So let's go ahead and grab those. And then we want to run out the back. Again, we have more medical spawns. I believe this is a technical supply crate. No, it's a ration supply crate. We have another supply crate here as well. This is a medical supply crate. Next to the, as you can see here, we're by the water, by these sandbags, just to give you an idea of where we are in the camp. And then we, all of these tables here, a bunch of rare med spawns, your knuckles, your salt. Uh, along these tables, on this shelf here, H2O2, again, good for crafting, good for selling, and another medical bag. Is just about it for our woods loot guide. Now, this one took a long time because it is a big map, and obviously I was taking my time to explain everything. However, once you get this run down and you're proficient in it, you can get this run down easily 20 to 30 minutes. You can run through and hit all the spots and just dip when you have enough loot. I will also say it might not be as quick as some of the other loot runs you might do, but it's, in my opinion, so much fun. I have grown to love woods. And on top of that, it's fairly safe. You don't run into that many players if you decide to do this on night with night vision or even just in daytime, a lot of people are going to sawmill for quests or they're trying to find Sturman. Not a lot of quests besides the very early game ones, so later on into the wipe especially, bring you up to the northern parts of woods. Or even in the, I don't think any quest takes you specifically to this medical camp. So it is fairly safe and you can just find so much money. In this video, we've clearly easily made way over a million maybe over 
one and a half million rubles. It's just, it's just a really fun run to do. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope you guys found this video helpful. If there's an area that you might have not known things can spawn or something, you're like, wow, I can't believe I didn't check that and I made you a bunch of money. Feel free to let me know what you thought and I'll see you guys in the next one.